Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm not doing anything special. I'm not reviewing any makeup. I just want to recreate a really horrendous makeup looks that I've done long ago. It has to do with the fact that I put like every single shade on my eye because I wanted to have fun. I wanted to be creative and I wanted to like, and I wanted to kind of do what I did for the Blue Buzz palette, like really get fun and creative, but that turned out really well. This just kind of like mm, turned out kind of crappy. For some reason I look really pale and I don't know why. I think it's because I tried out the Morphe foundation one. Yeah. That's a look and it was really horrible. The audio in that video was so messed up because I didn't realize that it was halfway pulled out So it just sounded so bad. I was sick in the video I told a funny story about how I got high one time, but overall that video was shitty <laughs> So I just want to play around makeup today see if I can recreate that look But maybe do it better by playing with the smoke sessions palette plus 420 just came and passed I know that Mel Cosmetics did a huge huge new release collection. It's like a pre-order collection. They also had a sale on the Smoke Session palette right here. So I figured why not, I know I'm kind of two days late to this game, but why not just recreate that look and see if I could do something better and just play with makeup. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so yesterday just was not my day. I just was having just a rough day. No honestly particular reason. It's just, I don't know now. I mean, I've been out of work now since, what's today's date? Oh my God, what day is it? It's the 22nd. Wow, I've been out of work for over a month and like seven days. Yeah, month and seven days at this point I've been out of work. And I get a lot of questions asking when Disney's gonna reopen. We honestly don't know. I mean, I know that I haven't heard anything about Florida reopening. I know I got some questions that saying, hey, I heard Florida's reopening. I have no idea when it's reopening. I have no idea when Disney's reopening because Disney really wants to follow the CDC standards and CDC is still saying it's not safe to interact with a group of people and that social distancing is still headstrong, still going. And so Disney and Universal and all the theme parks are not really the place to be when this virus is still spreading. So I really don't know when they're gonna reopen. It's just, it's a day by day basis. Right now they're projecting it to be June 1st, but we just don't know. So I just, you know, took yesterday to just breathe and just play some video games. And I went out and laid in the fields with Corey, try to get some sun because your girl is getting pasty white. And yeah, now I just want to sit here and just play with some makeup for you guys. All right, so I'm really curious to see if this palette is still, still, is still on sale. I'm so curious. I really love Melt Cosmetics. Like you guys know how much I love Melt Cosmetics, like with a passion. Um, Okay, so no, it's not. It says that it's it's a $48, so it did go on sale. I think it was like, oh God, I think it was like $20 something dollars when I went on sale for $420, but it is back up to $48. They do have a new release. It's the four, four, 420 collection. It says it's coming soon. Um, it was a whole PR box. We got three melt pipes, two gel liquid liners, and then the eyeshadow palette. So that was actually really cool. For today's video, we're not gonna review this. We're just gonna play around with this eyeshadow palette. Now this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette, which I proceeded to butcher the hell out of it and do a horrendous, I mean like a horrendous makeup look. And today I'm gonna try to see if I can improve that and be better than what I was, cause that was horrible. And I also figured I could take the time to sit here and talk to you guys just about you know, life, makeup, whatever I want to talk to you guys about. I want to take my P. Louise um, setting base right here. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes just to get this laid down. Ooh, look out. I'm starting off great. I'm already making this look so messy. I got it like in my eye. All right, so somehow I got it like in my lashes, but we're going to ignore that. So in that video, I try to do like two different eye looks where I used like literally all the shadows and it turned out horribly. So I'm gonna try to do something similar to that today, but I'm actually just gonna do like a halo eye look to see if I can do a really nice halo eye look. I It's been a while since I've tried to do like a full on, like from here down halo eye look, but we're just gonna go for it. If it messes up, it messes up. It's just it's just makeup. I, I could care less if it messes up. But um, yesterday when Corey and I were, you know, um, I was talking to him and I said, you know, this is just crazy that the whole, 
like countries still shut down and there's a lot of protests right now people are trying to reopen the country and i get that it's your freedom of speech and everything but i just feel like now is not the right time and i've seen i've seen like we're in kentucky i believe that people that were protesting to have their state reopened that they were getting the virus like the virus like spiked up so it's just i get it like i get how frustrating it is staying home but there's something that i do remember if Anne frank or sit there in that attic for i want to say like 157 days I, i'm i could be wrong on my days i really could be wrong you know let me double check how long she was there for okay so she hid for two years in the attic if she can hide for two years in that tiny little attic not seeing the outside not doing anything in life but writing her diary then I think staying at home for three months, if who knows how long it's going to be, I think it's very doable because guess what? We can still go to the store. We can still go to like essential businesses. We can still order takeout. We can still go outside. Like we have a lot more, more things in life that we can still do that people back then were not able to do. So it makes me very grateful and blessed for what we have. And I was talking to Corey and I was like, you know, this is unprecedented. Like we've never seen this before in our lifetime. And I was like, wow, we we're living history. Like in a hundred years, 50 years, whatever many years, our kids are going to talk about this pandemic. It's going to be written in the books, just like the Spanish flu was. People are going to ask us about it. And we are literally living history. I mean, granted, like I think every day's history and like, you know, going through like 9-11 and stuff like that, that's all written in history. But this is something that, that people are going to talk about worldwide. Like living through this pandemic, it's going to be written about for centuries for people to read about. Well, assuming we have books back in the future, but I don't know. But I'm just saying it's just, it's really such an intriguing fact knowing that we are physically living history right now. I'm going to go into this, this color space queen right here, but we are literally just living it, living and breathing it. I told Corey, I was like, how crazy is that? Like I never in a million years thought that I was going to live in a pandemic. That's just something that you see on in movies and in TVs. You just never really expect to live it in real life. And, um, it's very insane. Like, you know, whenever we go to our local grocery store, we go to Publix here. I love Publix so much. Oh my God, their fried chicken is just crack. I swear to God. But I, it's just it's such an like shocker to see everybody wearing face masks. It's just something that you're not used to seeing. And it's become the new norm of wearing face masks. I mean, I do love the fact that everybody's being super hygienic, like super hygienic, sanitizing everything, washing your hands. I feel like that's such a great um, thing that's come out of this. I really also like the fact that the world, like the earth is improving so much and we have no idea when life is going to go back to normal. And even to Corey, when things slowly start to reopen, life isn't still going to go back to normal. It's going to take a long time for people to adjust and to go back to the way things were. And I know that economy has taken a huge hit to this and it's just insane. And I also told Corey, they was like, you know, I really think that this has been such a huge learning lesson for me personally to take things slow and to slow things down. Like I kind of forgot to live life. I was so focused on doing YouTube and doing my, my job at Disney that I just kind of forgot to live. I, for, I forgot to stop for a second, breathe in fresh air and just admire the beauty of the world. And it's been really honestly super nice being away from being away from work and just doing YouTube on my own time and not feeling like, not feeling like I need to like do it full force every single day. It's definitely saved me money because there's no makeup to be released right now, but it's just been really nice to kind of get back into what I love to do. I mean, I've fallen back in love with doing my puzzles and I've reconnected with some friends and we've talked every single day and it's, I built some beautiful friendships out of this and I've been reading books and I've been going outside and just laying in nature and just enjoying what nature has to offer. And I would never have done any of that if it wasn't for this pandemic it's really really allowed me to slow down and just reconnect with myself and build a better relationship with Corey and my friends and just in life in general and I I'm grateful for it and we've been seeing like so many people out there trying to help people financially like Jeffree Star for example has been like giving away money like non-stop on Twitter and trying to give back to people who are definitely in need and me and Corey both did enter it yesterday just because we were just like, oh, you know, $5,000 could be really helpful for a lot of people. But then when we were actually reading people's stories, we we're like, oh shit, like we don't have some of the issues that some people out there have. And I looked at Corey and it's like, you know, we are really blessed on a lot of things. You know, we're not blessed financially. Like, you know, we have our struggles just like everybody else does, but we're blessed in life and the things that we have and having each other. And there's some people out there who are more deserving of that. So I told Corey yesterday for now on, I'm no longer entering those like giveaways from like Bill Polte or Jeffree Star. I'm only gonna enter in it, like comment on it just so that my followers on Twitter can see it and so that they have an opportunity to enter themselves. Because I don't, as much as $5,000 would be fantastic, I don't need it. Like 
but there's people out there who need it way more than me and i just want to be able to give back the way that they do and it just it's been really really inspiring truly truly inspiring guys that color is just so beautiful is it not just so be freaking beautiful i freaking love it so i'm like getting like so like in depth and talk with you guys, but it's just, it's really been such a huge learning lesson for me. And I've really, really valued every single lesson I've taken away from this. And it's definitely changed my perception. It definitely changed my perception on life. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. And I've been really valuing, valuing the lessons I've been learning from this whole thing. Like what's really, really important in life. It's really taught me some really valuable lessons that I don't think I would have learned if this didn't happen. So even though that this is a scary time and it's a dark time, just know that there is beauty to be found in it. I guess that's my whole point. There is beauty to be found in it. Truly there is. But it is gonna be so weird because I told Cora, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to go back to work after this. Like I miss Disney. I wanna go back to Disney, but I just don't know how I'm gonna go back to serving because it's been so nice not serving. This has been like the first time in nine years that I haven't served and it's been so nice. It really, really has. And it's taught me a lot about myself. Like. Can I do it? Can I, can I survive life without serving? And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I can. And it's been such a blessing. And you guys truly have been, been like seriously so wonderful. Speaking of that, someone sent me something for Morphe. Please, if you did, please, please, please DM me. I really, really want to talk to you. And that's the only thing I, I hate about like when, when things get ordered from websites, because sometimes there's no return address. There's no information about who sent it and so i'm like i don't i don't know who to talk to so if you send me something from morphe please dm me i really need to talk to you i'd really really appreciate it and thank you so much like seriously thank you again you guys don't have to send me anything let me send you guys stuff oh you guys can bet like if i ever get like jacqueline hill money that i would just be paying it forward like non-stop because i give you guys everything i can now imagine what it'd be like if i actually had some real money that'd be pfft truly spectacular definitely not even but i'm gonna go back in with my p louise base because i'm trying to do like this really pretty halo eye so i'm gonna take it on my blinged brush hair okay I'm trying to make this work i have not done this yet so this works this works if it doesn't it doesn't it's it is what it is but we're definitely going to try to make this work okay so let me let this sit down for just a second okay so now that that is sticky base i'm gonna go into this color mean green i'm gonna take it on my finger Oof. i really hope this works god i do love milk cosmetics their shadows are just on a whole new level like they are the type of cosmetic company that i would literally spend a fortune on like i wouldn't even care like for me price points does not matter because i know the quality of their shadows and they're just so they're just they're just there they're just fantastic and it's funny because like i would never in a million years spend like 50 bucks on like a pat mcgrath shadow but you asked me to do like uh you asked me to do male cosmetics i'm like oh my god i'm already there okay so now that that is laid down i'm gonna go into this color blue dream right here i'm gonna take it on a small little brush i kind of want to highlight just the center and i don't know we'll see how it looks when i do um the rest of like my face, I'm gonna put on the mascara and the liner. We'll see how well it looks. It's just like, there are only two mattes in this palette. The rest are all shimmers. So it's not like you can really do a halo eye look. I mean, you could with all shimmers, but I don't like doing an eye full of shimmers. Like I like to actually have a little bit of depth, depth and definition. Depth and definition. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna move on to the other eye. Oh my God, I forgot. I actually have eye shields. <sighs> forgot about that. Oh, they're all the way in my, they're all in my room. All right. Well, actually a beautiful subscriber actually sent me some e.l.f. eye shields. So in my next video, I'll make sure to have those on because using the tape, it does tend to hurt like a little bitch when you pull it off. Okay, so we're gonna go into this color Sour Diesel right here. Yes, my nails are still hanging on. These are gel nail polish. And you guys have, I've gotten tons of questions. Why have I not peeled them off? Guys, they're stuck like a little bitch, okay? I don't have acetone, so they're on there. I literally had to cut my nails because they were starting to break, but this gel nail, nail polish has literally lasted for over a month. 
how is that possible? Look how gross that is. It's so gross. But you know, I'm like, whatever. It just, it just, you know what? It's part of the quarantine. It's part of the quarantine look. It is what it is. I've embraced it at this point. I kind of laugh at it going, how does it last this long? And um, damn, I want to go back and have her do my nails again because she made it last like there's no tomorrow. So that is fantastic. So I don't know if anyone plays video games and this is gonna be totally random, but if you guys play video games and you guys are uh, have a PlayStation, right now PlayStation is offering the entire Drake Uncharted series for free just because they want people to stay home. So you can play the first three games for free. And then if you're a PlayStation Plus member, the fourth game is actually this month's free download. So I've already played the entire series. I love the Drake Uncharted series, like with a huge passion that Tomb Raider, The Last of Us are like one of my, like among favorite games to play. So I'm actually replaying the Drake Uncharted series because I just really wanted to play it. The second I saw that it was available for free on PlayStation, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. So I got it, even though I own the disc. Don't ask why, I don't know. But if anyone out there wants to play, by all means, seriously, go play, it's free. I really love that PlayStation's doing that. And I got really, really upset. I'm gonna go nerd mode right here. But The Last of Us 2 was supposed to come out May 29th. And I requested that whole weekend off because I knew that I was not gonna be able to work that weekend. Like I was gonna be in my PJs, probably not showering, ordering food, sitting on the couch, doing nothing with my life, but playing The Last of Us 2 because I want no spoilers. I wanna play it all the way through. And then they pulled out. This is the second time they've done this. The original release date was in February. And then they pulled out saying that the game wasn't complete. And I was like, you guys have freaking years to play this. And I love Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog makes the best freaking games. Probably also why I love Uncharted so much because it's about the same company. But they pulled out and I was like, okay. And then they did a release date for May. And I was like, oh my God, it's like Memorial Day weekend. Normally it's a really hard weekend to request off of work just because it's usually really busy for Disney. And I got so excited. And then they said, now is not the time to release the game. And I was like, you little bitches. I got so pissed. So did Corey. And I was like, and I literally the first words, and I'm so sorry for saying this, excuse my language. I said, fuck this game. I'm fucking done because I'm so freaking pissed. I literally have been waiting for years for this game to come out. They teased us with it years ago at a PlayStation conference. And then they stopped talking about it and they started to really tease us again. They let us, they let us down all the avatars and the backgrounds, like the PlayStation themes, but they refused to announce when the game is actually going to be released. And I'm like, this... I'm not one to ever post negative comments. I do not believe in negative comments ever just because I know what it's like to receive negative comments. But when they were posting about it on Twitter, I literally said, I'm fucking done with you guys. Y'all are just teasing us at this point. Y'all, you guys are not gonna actually release this game. I'm over it. Like I was mad and I became like one of those like little bitter people online because I just mean Corey, that's one of our favorite, favorite games. And like literally I, they said now's not the time. I get that game is about, you know, surviving like a pandemic and, but it's about like a zombie game. Or actually it's about fighting like the clickers and it's like fighting the um, cordyceps is like a type of disease that like overtakes the mind. Anyway, and it's actually a real disease by the way. It actually happens in ants, just so you guys know. But we were really looking forward to playing this and I get they're like saying now is not the right time. Well, I feel like now is the right time because everybody's staying home and this would be a great way that people can stay home is by playing this video game and they took it away from us because you know, the pandemic. And I think what it really came down to is business move. They wanna make the most money and they know that this game is going to like blow sales out of the water. And I think that they really just want to capture all the sales and they feel like now is not the right time to capture sales because not everybody's able to buy it. And I understand that, but I'm like, so pissed. So pissed. So I don't know when that game's coming out, but when that game actually ever decides to come out, which people are now saying it's gonna come out PlayStation 5, I'm like, oh. If it does, I won't be on YouTube for that time. I'm gonna take a time off, like that whole weekend so that I can play the game. I'm gonna turn into like Cartman from South Park. Have you guys ever seen the episode when they're playing World of Warcrafts? That's gonna be me. All right, major stone shield potions should be, oh God, I'm gonna have diarrhea again. Uh, uh, you can't go to the bathroom, you're stacking Sunder armor. It's okay. Ma'am, bathroom. What, hon? Bathroom, bathroom. Oh, that's a big boy, isn't he? I don't know why my left eye always does better than my right eye. 
like I don't I don't get it like I my right eye I feel like shows more on camera and this eye I feel like it doesn't and it always just does better maybe it's just like bitch hello let me have the spotlight I don't I don't know but it always does so much better all right I'm gonna let the base dry I do want to say something to you guys and this is like something that's really coming from the heart I get a lot of DMs or I get a lot of uh, comments, you know, in regards to how I do my makeup versus you. And I just want you guys know there's no right or wrong way to do makeup. Whatever works for you works for you. It may, it may not work for me, but it may work for you and vice versa. There's no rules to makeup and that is the beauty of it. So never let anybody, anybody tell you that you're doing your makeup wrong because there's no such thing. And I know that a lot of people out there like to help and give you tips and tricks and I, and I completely will always respect that. But I've had people say, oh, you're doing your makeup so wrong. I'm like, well, maybe it's wrong to you, but it's what works for me. So no, there's no right way find the way that works best for you whether it's the same technique that I do or it's somebody else's there's no right or wrong answer it's literally makeup and it's for everybody and anybody can do it and there's no right or wrong way so never feel like there's like there's rules you have to follow it's what works best for you honestly all right I'm gonna go into the shade black widow right there such a cute palette I forgot to zoom you guys in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been doing this thing where I've been telling you guys I'm gonna start zooming you guys in. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot to do that. Oh, it's like so grungy, so grungy. All right, I'm gonna go into this color, Gravity OG. Gravity OG, pop that right into the center. I'm gonna take my Jeffree Star Sour Eyes. You guys know how much I love, love, love this freaking frosted highlighter. It is just, it is just, mm, it's everything. All right, I need a small little brush again. No, this is not the right brush to use for this, just so you guys know. My other one's a little dirty. Just wanna pop it right here. All right, so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this look, if I'm being honest with you. I definitely think it looks better than what I did back in the day, so it's definitely an improvement, but I really don't know how I feel. I'm not gonna know until I put on lashes and like do like the full look to see how well I like it, but I definitely think it looks better than that. Be completely 100% real with you guys. I'm probably gonna get rid of the under eye. Like I'll probably go in my concealer and just completely get rid of it. I'll leave the under corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off my camera, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the final look. So I did go in with my June & Co. moisturizer. You guys know how much I freaking love this moisturizer. I think they're still doing a sale where it's buy one, get one free. So just want to let you guys know, I'll link everything down below. I went in today actually with a different foundation. I went in with the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Foundation. I bought this a while ago because Robert Christie said that it was like such a unique foundation. So I wanted to give it a try and it just, wasn't a holy grail, but I still do enjoy it for the first couple hours. I only wear this makeup for the first couple hours now. I'm sorry you guys are seeing like a light reflected on me. I have my um <laughs> my high mirror sitting here right in front of me. Um, but I like to use this just for a couple of hours. So I, I did wear this today. And then I actually set it today with the Bite Beauty. This is the Game Changer Powder Foundation. I actually set it with today and I didn't realize. So I've been using this a lot lately for powder foundation, like on my days off. Y'all, I hit pan. I hit pan. That is so weird for me to hit pan. I never ever hit pan on something. So that's actually really cool. It shows you how much I'm using this to set my face with that. I actually really enjoy it. As for bronzer, I used my MAC Give Me Some Bronzer. I used my blush from ColourPop, the Soulmate blush. And then for highlight today, with the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette, I went in with the shade Iced right here in the inner, right here in the corner. And then for lashes, I used my MB Lashes in Style Miami. And then I used for my eyeliner, Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil and style perversion. I love this black liner more than anything. For brows, I went in my benefit precisely my brow along with my gimme brow to set my brows. And then for inner corner highlight, I used my Jeffree Star <laughs> always sour ice for inner corner as well as the thingy. 
brow bone. And then for lips, I actually kind of changed it up. So for lips, I actually went in with my Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the style Savage right here. This is a velvet liquid lip. And then I actually topped it off with a Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And then I set my entire face with my Morphe Peach Setting Spray right here. So looking at the overall looks of it, I need my mirror to like really get a look out of it. I actually think this look is so pretty. Like, I feel like once I put on the lashes and did the black liner and kind of smudged out underneath, I feel like it just really, really is a really beautiful look. It's kind of grungy. I feel like if I didn't go along with this side right here, I'm actually loving this side way more than liking this green side. And usually that's not something I ever say. I usually go for green. But I feel like this look right here is just so grungy. And I'm like, ooh, I was really looking for like a deep brown lipstick. And the only one I could find was my Jaclyn, Jaclyn Hill lipstick in the style Fussy and Hustle. And I was like not gonna put those on, but I don't really really have like any caramel color lipsticks. At least I couldn't find any. I really need to declutter that crap back there. I have way too much crap back there that I don't use. So I'm gonna do like a full declutter of all my lips cause that would just be a whole video in itself of me doing a full declutter. Cause y'all, that that bin is just two of them are for just like lips. So <laughs> I really needed to fix that up. But I feel like this look is so much better than this look. I don't know you guys are like, oh, don't make fun of yourself. I, it's not me making fun of myself. Well, yeah, it is. It's me showing my evolution and my growth because I really have come so far. I did that look last year and I feel like I did such a better job redoing the look today, but I feel like I just made it look a lot better than what I did back then. And I really like the overall aesthetics of this entire look. I feel like it's just really grungy. I really love this one. I should be like rockered out, but Overall, I love Milk Cosmetics. I think this palette is so fun. It's so unique. And right now it's not available, but when it is, you guys should definitely check it out. There's a lot of shimmers in here, only two mattes, the rest are shimmers, but it's such a unique palette. I really love this Milk Session palette. I really just love Milk Cosmetics in general. I think eventually I'm gonna play around with the Gemini palette for you guys. I've never played around the Gemini palette on camera. I've only ever done it off camera, but I definitely wanna do it for you guys. But I definitely wanna say that I love how this look looks. I feel like it's so much better than that look. And I just, I really love the final final results so I really just want to thank you guys for sitting here and listening to me ramble on about my thoughts and just tell you guys my opinions on things and just for being here overall and yeah this is just a simple little video I'm sorry I forgot to zoom you guys in I won't make that mistake next time and uh yeah, thanks for being here. So uh, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post three to four. I post almost every other day at this point. Also, make sure you guys head on over to Our Florida Life. It's my second channel that I have amazing fiance, Corey, where we post a lot of cool ventures here in Florida, but we haven't really posted much lately. And as always, guys, I wanna thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not, I'm not reviewing anything. I'm not doing any sort of chat. I'm not reviewing anything. Oh my God. You know, I need some, something on my lip. I need something on my lips. A little, a little crusty buddy. Crusty buddy. With like a huge, I know, I know Mel Cosmetics. I know Mel Cosmetics.